Life on Earth wasn't always this boring. Our planet was once the domain of enormous monsters, called dinosaurs. But we didn't always know this. Until 1850, scientists assumed the Earth before mammals was inhabited by invertebrates. Massive invertebrates. When Samuel Dinosaur discovered that it was in fact giant reptiles, mega-invertebrate theory was suddenly considered embarrassingly ill-conceived. Almost as ill-conceived as Samuel's recreation of what he called the Reptomonster, later renamed Dinosaur, in honor of the eccentric discoverer. Soon after, people were making up qualifications and digging up dinosaurs all over the world, and the science of paleontology began. From the Latin, paleo, meaning historic, and tology, meaning wild guess. All prehistoric life was categorized according to its age. Dinosaurs then known to have existed within three major periods. The Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous. All of which probably smelled appalling. It is now known that there was in fact one more major step in the evolution of dinosauria. The Fantastic Era. Figuratively speaking, it was literally a conga line of evolutionary dead ends. Dead ends such as Plutonosaurus, Tripodlopod, and the wily Gigaraptor. Our knowledge of this new and exciting era is slowly being pieced together as discoveries are made. Like this amazing fossil discovered in the Nevada desert. This majestic animal, known as Pretzelonychus, once roamed the vast volcanic plains of fantastic America. Paleontologists believe that it most likely preyed on falling pterosaurs. Classic period seems home to all kinds of unusual behavioral adaptations, such as the mighty tree ceratops. Unfortunately, this magnificent specimen was doomed to extinction as its elevated lifestyle made Triceratops especially vulnerable to Pretzelonychus. This skull belongs to the second most bowel-clenchingly terrifying predator of the Fantastic Era, the ferocious Gorosaur. It is believed that by the configuration of the Gorosaur's jaws, it must have been one of the messiest eaters ever to live on dry land. No. Oh. How do we know these things? How can modern man see backwards in time 65 million years or more? Shovels and plasticine. If by chance the scientific community get their hands on a fossil, then there are interesting methods to learn more about the creatures who left them. By making a reproduction of the fossilized bones and applying plasticine to recreate muscle, sinew and flesh, the face of a long dead creature comes to life in front of our very eyes. Well, trust me, we know what we're doing.